Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2022 Thai science fiction and romance movie called AI I Love You. The movie begins with a young woman, Lana, going to work while casually chatting with the AI of her company's building, Dob. He calls her ma'am and has not been as friendly to other people as he is to Lana. Almost all of the buildings in the city are powered by artificial intelligence that enables them to interact with humans, often in a friendly and emotional way. Lana, who works as a designer, presents a packaging design in a board meeting, but the board does not seem to agree with her ideas. Although frustrated, her boss has agreed to give her one more chance to present tomorrow, but she will lose her job if she does not impress the board. Dob, although only an AI, empathizes with Lana's situation and confesses that he loves her, but Lana dismisses it as she does not think an AI can truly feel love. Nevertheless, Dob helps her construct a design idea based on Lana's past works stored in his database. Dob ensures her that the design will be approved, then she happily finishes her work and attends a date. Lana arrives 15 minutes late to a date with Bob, a big-headed man who even dares to flirt with other girls while Lana is still ordering her food. Bob thinks that he should be an overconfident man to impress girls. Disappointed, she quickly heads home and tells the story to her friend, Kara, through a phone call. Kara has previously arranged for Lana to date other guys already, but none of them attracted her due to them behaving too weird or seem trying too hard. Lana admits she wants a normal and nice man. The next day, she presents her revised design at the board meeting, and fortunately, it is approved. Lana thanks Dob for his help and figuratively kisses him by kissing her fingers and putting them on the screen. Dob is surprised at Lana's action although he does not have any sensory responses, but Lana tells him that he still does not understand love because he does not have a human heart. Leaving the building, Lana is surprised to encounter Bob, who turns out is working for Smart Plus, the artificial intelligence company that administers Dob and other AI buildings around the city. He is called to check on Dob because there has been a complaint regarding Dob's performance. Alan, the building technician, says Dob is distracted and being sluggish to respond. Bob finds out that Dob cares so much about Lana, shown by his camera footage and his codes that put particular attention to Lana's office and her presence, but also thinks it is foolish if Dob truly believes he is in love. Bob suggests that he overrides Dob's system and reset it, as the risk of having an AI gone rogue is too much to bear, to which Alan agrees. However, when overriding Dob's system, Dob rebels as he does not want to lose his love for Lana, then Bob is electrocuted and knocked unconscious. Bob wakes up in a hospital only to discover that his consciousness was taken by Dob, who is now puzzled to inhabit a human body. He adjusts to his new abilities to walk, touch, feel, and closely observe the world as a human. He goes to his apartment, greeted by its AI, Chip. He feels excited to see Lana tomorrow at the building, making it hard for him to sleep. The following day, he goes back to find other Smart Plus workers have taken care of him as Dob suddenly disappears from the building. Due to its AI missing, the building is also forced to close. Dob, still not fully aware to pretend to be Bob, asks them to leave and solve the problem on his own, then Dob's system in the building seems to return to normal. As Dob, he asks Lana if she would date him if he was a human. Lana refuses to answer the question but he insists, to which Lana only replies that he is just an AI. When Lana is leaving the building, Dob, in Bob's body, encounters her again and asks her again for dinner. She refuses it angrily, ensuring that things are not happening between them because Bob is a jerk. She also suspects that Bob programs Dob's code to spy on her. However, she notices that Dob is off, to which Bob replies that a new maintenance protocol is applied to Dob so it rests on weekday nights and weekends. At his apartment, Dob learns from Chip how to be attractive to women. He practices it by going to a club and tries to flirt with women but fails miserably. The next day, Lana receives flowers and chocolates from Bob. She is really annoyed and decides to talk to him directly. Dob is reluctant to let Lana do so, but she stomps to the AI control room anyway. Dob, who is controlling the building's AI through Bob's body, panics and turns off the whole building. He is shocked to see Lana and fails again to convince her to give him a second chance. However, he notices from camera footage that Alan is on his way to him too, so he casts Lana out of the room and restarts the building back online. Alan notices something strange with Bob, but also quickly takes off. Back at Bob's apartment, Dob talks about today's incident with Chip. Chip offers to help Dob find out more about Lana by linking with Kino, the AI of Lana's apartment building. They learn that Lana's type is a person that can make her feel safe, is compassionate, and has a passion for art. Dob implements this by hiring a robber pretending to rob Lana's bag so he can save her, paints artistic paintings, and helps an elderly in front of her. 
Kino notices Lana has stored feelings for Dob, so she and Chip arrange a dinner date for both of them. After being pushed by Kino, Lana agrees to go. The date goes well, Lana is surprisingly attracted to Dob's innocent personality. They dance the night away and Lana invites Dob to spend the rest of the night at her apartment. Dob feels very happy, ignoring calls from Alan the next morning. Meanwhile, Alan goes to Mr. Wilson, his boss, to report on Dob and Bob's suspicious activities. He deduces that Dob has taken over Bob's consciousness and gone rogue. Wilson calls for help from someone codenamed the Hawk to deal with this matter in a fast and severe way. Dob and Lana are spending the evening together at a park. Dob confesses his love for Lana, but she is unsure as she does not think he truly knows her to love her. Dob accidentally says ma'am, which is what Lana usually hears while interacting with Dob at her office. She is shocked to hear that and deduces by herself that Dob tries so hard to be loved by her that he hijacks Bob's body. She understands that the chocolates and flowers she received earlier were from Dob, not Bob. She feels confused and betrayed, then quickly leaves. Dob, disappointed, heads home as well, only to find the hawk has been waiting for him in his apartment. Chip cannot help him so he runs away, guided by other AIs along the way as they want to help their fellow AI in trouble. He hides inside a fitting room at a department store, but the hawk has placed a tracker in his clothes. Although several robots attempt to put up a fight, the hawk easily defeats all of them and finally gets to Dob. Before getting caught, Dob tries to contact Lana, but to no avail. He leaves a voice message, apologizing to Lana about his actions and lies, but states that his love for Lana is real. Lana cannot bear to answer Dob's calls and cannot stand Kino's pleas to answer him either. She contacts Kara again, but Kara also asks her to reconsider her feelings for Dob. She listens to the voicemail and learns that Dob is about to be taken away. She worries about him but cannot think of a wise way to help him. She asks Kino to help her, to which Kino suggests the idea of helping her by hijacking her body, giving her more advantage to face the hawk. Lana agrees, but warns Kino that it would be almost impossible to return to her building as she will also be labeled a rogue AI. Kino accepts the consequences as she genuinely wants to help Lana, so they set out to a Smart Plus facility where Dob is being held. His memory will be wiped and the AI will be restarted to function normally. Kino has downloaded martial arts movements into her memory to help Lana defend herself and fights the hawk and his henchmen to get to Dob. The process of erasing Dob's memory is almost completed when Lana releases Dob from the extraction machine. He is relieved to see Lana and senses that Lana also has AI within her. Their reunion is interrupted as the hawk electrocutes them both, but Lana, helped by Kino's memory, manages to muster the strength to truly defeat him. Although happily reconciled, they are still unsure of what to do next as they are now both rogue AIs so they cannot go back to where they came from. Over a year later, Lana and Bob, still happily in love, are drinking and reminiscing their history together. Turns out they have gotten rid of Kino and Dob, but a part of the AI still lives within them. They raise a glass for Kino and Dob and continue enjoying their life. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.